Hey guys, this is IX Roll at IX with the Rollout Review is doing another Let's Build. Today we are building the fourth 2015 Bionicle set, and it's a Scorp. It's a Scorpion guy, skeleton man thing. I don't know, he looks super weird, and when I think Scorpion, I usually think Stinger and not crazy double axe guillotine death weapon, but I guess we'll find out if it's any good or not. A lot of people seem to think that this is the weakest set of the bunch, and I'll be the judge of that. So, let's take a look at the back. You got you got Pohatu being a bro. I love 2015 Bo Pohatu, by the way. He's such a, such a beast. Um, there's actually two Skull Scorpios in that picture. I guess there are more than one of these guys, too? I don't know. We, it, we have seen shockingly little about Skull Scorpio. Like, We've seen nothing in the commercial, like the commercial had all of them but Skull Scorpio in it. We haven't seen anything as far as the animations go. Uh, I don't think any of the previews from the novel had Skull Scorpio in them, although I could be mistaken. Mine certainly didn't. But uh, yeah, it just seems weird that they'd be avoiding this guy so much. I hope that's not telling about, you know, the set itself, but... <laughs> We'll see. Let's th open this thing up here and get to building it. Yep, those are Lego pieces. I don't know what I expected. So, let's close up the box. Everyone's favorite part. Okay, we're done. We're done with that. Gag over. Bring the camera down a bit and take a look at the instructions. So, yep, that is certainly a Scorp man. A, a Scorp, Scorp, Scorpopolis. I don't know. Um, he does only have six legs as opposed to eight, how a scorpion should, but for some reason the claws make me feel he's a bit more accurate than a spider with six legs. I don't know. <laughs> I know why. They only give, you know, six legs to their, six and or four legs to their things because, I don't know, I guess people with arachnophobia wouldn't, wouldn't be too happy with the product in that case and they don't want to leave those people out, but, uh, I don't know, six doesn't seem all that off from four, so I don't know why they go for the full, the full eight, but, um, there's probably a reason for that. If nothing else, it would cost more for eight legs. Anyway, let's open these bags up and take a look at the pieces inside. Oh, we've got a box. We've got a box inside of our box. And we got some eensy peensy pieces here. I think if nothing else, the uh, function on this guy will be pretty cool. Also, before this I just did the uh, Skull Basher Let's Build and it sort of occurred to me that I think it's a little bit strange that uh, the horns on, on Basher aren't these pieces. I mean, I guess that'd be like I don't know, that seems kind of like a missed opportunity. I guess it wouldn't make sense for the horns to be more bone-like than horns on an actual bull because they're they're bone anyway, but I don't know. It just seems to me like they could have just made these pieces horns for that set. But uh, on a related note, these make up Skull Scorpio's legs. And I don't know if you are seeing a problem here, but uh, yeah, this does not move at all. It's one solid piece, and that is super disappointing. This guy's legs do not move at all, and it's like, what? I mean, like, at least Lord of Skull Spider's legs moved a little bit, but uh, yeah, these, these have got nothing. There is the Pohatu Drained Mask. There's something about the green and the gold together that looks kind of weird to me, I don't know. It's probably my least favorite of the drain masks so far. Even though I, I love Pohatu. Maybe it's maybe it's the fact that I'm seeing Pohatu uh, 
at his weakest, and I don't like it. Oh, blue rubber band. <laughs> I still think it's funny that there's like this giant box and you have this like tiny rubber band inside. Remember when they used to have like little plastic things that they'd put rubber bands around? Those were the good old days, and like you'd at least get an one extra rubber band. That was great too, but oh well. Anyway, let's actually start building this thing. Um, and it starts with some tiny little Technic pieces. So, what do we need? We need a longer gray thing uh, than, than this. Yeah, we need this one. Okay. Um, that goes there. And, whoa, whoa, I was not expecting that to be on there. No, we need this kind. We need that kind. Okay. And then we need a longer one. And then we need another one of these. And one of these. Boom, okay. Now, we need a four long axle and a, what, what? Why are these gray? Hello? Why, why is that gray? Why didn't they just use another black one? The world may never know. Those go on there like that. And then we sort of just do the same thing on the other side. If I am not mistaken. Hmm. These pieces are certainly making it harder for me to find the thing I need there. Yep, that is another one. There you go, there he is. There's the one we need. So yeah, like I said, uh, like we know so little about these that like, I don't, I don't know why uh, there's two of them on the back. Maybe there are multiples of these guys uh, in uh, in the story, like like uh, Skull Warrior. I guess they're in like the graveyard of the ancient city. I don't know what significance that has. Um, one of them also, I don't know if this is canon, but one of them combines with uh, Skull Grinder with Kulta and he gets all super form with the Mask of Creation. I don't know, for some reason, I feel like that could potentially be canon. It certainly looks cool. I think the, uh, the that combo model looks way better than the one with the other skull sets. And like, if that if that is canon, and that is like, Kulta in his ultimate form, wearing the Mask of Creation, I might almost want to get like a second uh, Mask Maker versus Skull Grinder and a second one of these and actually make that, because uh, that, that looks really cool to me. I like a lot of things about that combo model. Is this the right, yeah, is this uh, it's five long? Yep, okay. So on to something completely different. We sort of just set this piece off to the side. And now, um, we're building, I don't know what this is yet. Uh, I'm sure it is the tail? I mean, I guess, I guess it's the tail. That makes sense to me. Um, Yeah, but I'm, I'm weird about stuff like this. Like the set tells me to do that, but I don't like how like the end, this end of the bushing is like the same as this one. So to me, it just looks a little, uh, looks a little nicer to do it that way. <laughs> Nobody's ever gonna notice that at all, but uh, <laughs> just that tiny little detail just seems more coherent to me that way. Okay, no, this is not, this is not the tail. This is actually the assembly that attaches the arms. So, yep, I was wrong, I suppose, but there you go. And then you got some uh, tiny little trans neon green pieces. There. 
and then just some standard connectors on the end. And there you go. There's his hands. Wouldn't that be amazing? <laughs> like, I mean, back in Gen 1, that, that settled for a hand. So I, I like to think of that as, as his hands. <laughs> that looks silly to me. I love it. Okay. Actually, I think in the last step, we were supposed to put these legs on. So things are going to get a whole lot spookier. Things are getting a whole lot more like a scorp. I guess at this point it's more like a... What? What? Where? Oh, there it is. I was like, where is the last leg? I've never bought a Lego set that hasn't had all of the pieces. I I've heard stories about people who have, have gotten... Um, gotten Lego sets that are missing parts or, you know, just completely packaged the wrong way or like you know d double bags um in sets and things like that but i personally have never been missing a piece in any lego set i've gotten um i mean i trust that lego's good about that so i don't necessarily consider myself lucky but um yeah that that would be terrifying to me <laughs> just one day get a set that I you know I guess I guess their customer service is is really good about that so like you can just contact them and be like yo my set was totally missing a part and they'll give you a new one like no charge but um like I said that's never happened to me and if it ever ha happens to me that would be the worst thing ever especially if like I'm doing one of these videos <laughs> Especially if I'm I'm filming a let's build and uh, I just can't complete the video because I'm missing a part That that would be the worst Actually, I don't know if this is the way the hands are supposed to go. I think they, I had it right the first time Like this because it's weird like he has this one claw here and then like two thumbs but like if you do it this way, I, it makes more sense because he's got like a finger, like two fingers and then a thumb. But I don't know. I don't know, man. It's weird. But there you go. My, uh, my camera's blinking at me, actually. Uh, so <laughs> I'm going to pause this here because I am running out of uh, data on my camera. This has actually never happened ever. I very rarely run out of time, but it seems to be that way. So I'll be right back here in just a second. Or maybe a bit longer than just a second, because I went and I deleted stuff off my memory card, and then I uploaded the footage from the last couple Let's Builds onto my computer, and that took a little while, so here I am a fair bit later, even though it's been only a couple seconds for you. And I'm not used to taking breaks like that in between these videos, so I'm all flustered. But the show must go on, so let's continue. I got a little uh, carried away with uh, Scorpio here, headless Scorpio, wishing he could wear those masks. And uh, actually looking at the picture here, I mean, I don't know. I guess I'll leave the claws like this because it seems like it actually is meant to be this way on, you know, the promotional pictures and on the the uh, comic there and, of course, in the instructions here. But um, where were we? Uh, <laughs> let's see. Um, step 18, step 19. Yeah, okay, here we are. So... We're gonna take these little bits and the wrong way. They don't fit that way, so they gotta go this way. Just like this. I actually like how snug that is. There's like not a whole lot of room in between this piece and this piece, so you know there's no gappage going on there. And then I take these little little spikes and put them on here like that now we're actually going to give him a head 
So we can get ahead of the game. Put it. And now we can finally wear those masks he was longing to put on. Ta-da! There you go. All right, now... Oh, no, don't put on this yet, actually. We put on the uh, tail bit here. <clears throat> Just like that. Okie doke. So I mean, it's got a little bit of articulation, just nothing. Nothing in the legs, unfortunately. Okay, next, uh, take this piece and put that on. And then put this on the back. I actually like the way that looks. How the, the little rib cage piece fills out the back like that. It also gives him like a little, little shark fin. So that's nice, <laughs> I guess. Oh, good, now we get to set this off to the side if we can find room for it, it's so freaking wide. I'm gonna have to like move his arm out of the way here. And we move on to the monstrosity that this set is calling a tail. And it's mostly Technic pieces, so hopefully this goes smoothly. I mean, I got through Basher pretty well, but uh, I'm just remembering back to Lord of Skull Spiders, and that was a nightmare when I uh, got like halfway through building the mechanism and I realized something was wrong, and then I needed to take apart the whole thing. Good times. I already had to pause once during this video. Hopefully I don't have to do it again. Okay, all kinds of crazy things happening. So. I'm gonna take this longer piece here and attach that there. And then this slides through there like that. And how far do we get? Actually, it's like all the way through, it seems like. And then we bring this back down here, right? Okay, and then line it up with that hole there. And then, we take this piece, slide that through, and put a couple bushings on the end there. Just like that. As you can tell, I'm being extra careful to make sure I do this right. Okay, now we take the rubber band and loop it around and through here, like that, like that, okay. Now we seemingly move on to something else completely different. Uh, this piece slides through here. I'm actually doing this step like backwards, <laughs> going from the bottom of the page up, but it won't make much of a difference. Eh. In. All right. And that goes like that. And then this piece goes here. And this goes here. Okay. Then we slide that through like that. Okay, that works. Top it off with this. Another one of these, and another one of those. So we got that. <laughs> now we move on to the axe claw thing. You see, it's weird, like, it almost seems to me like they took the function, like the mechanism, like from something else entirely, and just like stuck it on the back of this thing. I, I doubt that's the case, but it just seems so disconnected from the rest of the creature. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it's weird. But I won't judge it until I've played with it. Okay, uh, getting a little bit ahead of myself there. Actually, I was supposed to take this, these pieces and put them here. I actually really like this. Um, like how it uses the little ball joints 
and like these pieces. Um, the Axelara T9, at least, uh, from 2008, a vehicle from 2008, had a couple functions that used these parts, and it was pretty cool. I like that. So, same kind of deal going on here. And then we can take this, and this, and then I guess put these on here. I think it's interesting that they make the effort to cover up those pieces. But I guess it's appreciated. It does look a little bit weird with the green and then the uh, the orange there, but whatever. And uh, believe it or not, uh, that is it. That would be uh, the thing. And it uh, it does that. Which is terrifying in many ways. Uh, <laughs> oh no, I put the mask off somewhere. It's not on the desk anymore. Hold on a second. It's over here on this table, off to the side. Okay. Then, last but not least, we give him this mask here. And I believe that's the same mask as uh, Skull Basher. Is it a different color? I don't think so, actually. It's just exactly the same mask. Oh well. But yeah, there you go. There's this guy. Um, and he's got grabby, grabby hands, so he can actually hold on to the mask here. If I can get that. Close enough. So yeah, there is, there is, uh, <laughs> whoops. There is Skull Scorpio. Hold on to your mask. Okay. As for extra pieces, uh, you got, you got these. So do what you will with that information. And let's actually, uh, I don't know how to do this. Let's bring the camera up a little bit, but not too far, because then he's so low to the ground that'll be off the frame. He'll be out of the frame, that's the word I'm looking for. And then uh, I guess we could put the box back here, even though that'll be out of frame too. This guy's weird, so he's ruining everything, but um, he does that. It's weird, but I, I mean, I guess it's fun, actually. Um, and I guess that's really all that matters. Like, it doesn't matter if it looks weird, if it's fun, but uh, yeah, he's big. I mean, I, I guess I'm kind of warming up to him already. Like he he's not he's not terrible, but uh, <laughs> I guess I'll have more time to play around with him, and then uh, and then I'll have my verdict in the actual review. But until then, that is about it, guys. And this is IX Roller IX signing off.